Do you guys think dinosaurs existed in the Cars universe? Dino Drafsky. Hmm, I don't know, but it would certainly be weird to see a car incorporated into like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That'd be so weird. I mean, we do have basically cow cars, which are the tractors, but a dinosaur car? Jeez, that would be ridiculous. But anyway, today we'll be taking a look at the stock car clutch a racer from Cars 3 named Dino Drafsky. He's in the 2018 Piston Cut Racer Series, which seems to be a pretty amazing series because who doesn't love Piston Cut Racers? And since all 2018 packaging, regardless of where you live, is in international format, we have a lot going on here. We have a choking hazard, we have this stuff, and then of course, this comes with the collector card for Clutch Aid. So I'm super excited about that because of course for Rich Mixon, I didn't have that, who I reviewed pretty recently. Link to him will be in the description below. And that leaves only a small spot for Dino himself there on the card art. It's kind of upsetting, but oh well. In the background, you can see the desert and the highway. There is no numbering for the 2018 series. On the back here, you can see Jack DePost and Rex Revler, who are re-releases, but they haven't hit any stores yet. And then you have Marcus Kranzler and Rev Rodages, who are the Transberry Juice and Vinyl Toupee stock cars, respectively from Cars 3, both of which have been found in US Target stores, specifically in Nevada. So they are just starting to hit stores now, which is very awesome. Rookies and racing legends alike compete to win the coveted Piston Cup. Pretty simple. And then that kind of leads me to believe that maybe we'll get some older racers like the one from Doc's time that races for revolting, Leroy Hemming. Maybe he'll be in this series because it says racing legends alike. And then you have a picture of McQueen, Bobby, and Cal after being beaten by Jackson Storm at the Copper Canyon race in Arizona, I believe. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Cannot wait to get these. I'm just re-emphasizing these two are awesome. But I'll be right back with Dino Opened Up. Here we have Dino out of the package looking amazing. And before we get into his review, I wanna talk about where I got him, just an online seller. You have them on eBay, Amazon, all over the place. He's pretty widely available. And this case is also hitting Target stores and Walmart stores, and actually even Toys R Us too in the US, with and without the collector cards, which would be B and C, Contents are in the description below. I haven't found them yet, so that's why I've decided to resort to online places. And I don't know about countries outside the United States like Canada, Europe, of course, Australia, because I have not seen any reports of these cases being found there, which is kind of upsetting, but hopefully they do in the near future. Now, Dino appeared a couple times throughout the beginning of Cars 3. Of course, he replaced Kevin Shiftwright, who was the Cars 1 Clutch A racer. And then sometime during Cars 3, Dino gets replaced by the next gen Clutch A, who has not been released yet, but hopefully he is maybe later this year, maybe next year. I don't really know. He has not been confirmed. He's one of the actually very few next gens that hasn't been confirmed for a release, along with like Rev and Go, Vinyl Tupe, Leakless, and a couple others. As for his release, like I said, only in case B without the collector card and case C with it, he may be re-released sometime again down the road, but probably not for a long time. So let's start here with the collector card. As I always say, don't forget the little stand in the bottom of the blister. And it is very sturdy, you can hold it upside down and it does not fall out. And one difference from the 2018 collector cards and 2017, the backs are red and black, but Cars 3 logo is now transformed into a larger Cars General logo. Although it's kind of strange that it's still red and black because the red and black design is not anywhere present on the package anymore. It is the red and the desert highway. But on the front here, I really love this clutch aid design. It's kind of interesting how the blue doesn't really match Dino. 
It's a lot darker, and he has kind of like the spiky stripes, as I like to call it. They jut out here, a little bit down here as well, and then he has this like, I don't know really how to describe it, but there's this line that goes through the Clutch Aid logo that is this nice green band-aid. Then you have the, you know, lighter green band-aid in the middle there to look like a real band-aid. I mean, usually they're like beige with the white thing in the middle. Of course, you have the Hospital White Plus logo there, which is just globally known for aid or, you know, hospitality, stuff like that. And like I was kind of pointing out before this, I really have no clue how to describe it. It looks like a tail from a rat or something. I don't know, but it's this weird stripe. And it's also on... Dino's hood, which I don't know, it must mean something significant, but it just kind of looks like a worm. I really have no idea what it's supposed to be. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the collector card. I really like these collector cards. They're very sturdy and they make for great thumbnail backgrounds. Moving on to Dino himself as we go through him, we're also going to be taking a look at Kevin alongside, who was the Cars 1 Clutch A Racer. And man, we have some big differences to cover. The biggest one is, of course, the color. He went from having this dark navy blue to a much brighter blue combined with a heck of a lot more white. Before, he just had some white stripes there in the center and whatnot, but now you have a lot more. Also, the hood logos changed drastically. So before, you had kind of more of this like square logo with clutch plus aid, the hospital logo there in the green center. And now it's a band-aid actually that is diagonally stretched across the hood with the worm behind it. I'm just going to call it the worm because I have no idea what it's supposed to be. If you do, please let me know. I like his expression. It's very nice, nice, calm, and content. And we'll compare him to some of his other similar models in a little bit here. Of course, you have 121 there below his right headlight. I like how it's a little white there in the center, blue down here with the vents. That's a cool gradient. I love his rims because they're two colors, multicolor I should say, white mainly with the green trim and of course light gear black tires, light gear there on the fenders, looks fantastic. His contingency sponsors are the Piston Cup, Vitaline Revolting, RPM Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid itself. Now this is pretty funny because of course all the stock cars in Cars 3 have the exact same contingency sponsors regardless of if it's the same one, like Revolting again here. And I find it really cool now that we have actually all the stock cars that represent these sponsors. Clutch Aid was the last one to be released. Of course, we have a nice, more of a shadowy 3D 121 logo, whereas before it was flat on the paint. Below it, you have that red arrow that indicates the pit crew where to lift them up at to change tires. And similar to the design on the collector card, you have all these stripes intermingled, light blue, darker blue, white, and it looks fantastic. Going off of before, where it was just, you know, dark blue and a little bit of white with the green trim here and there. The green's a little bit lighter, by the way. You have 121 there on the hood. No white stripes anymore. Roof flaps. Cool stuff, I like it. Now his back half's pretty much all white as the main color, which is a big departure from before. You have Clutch Plus Aid there. It's pretty much the same type of logo, although now it's like a band-aid, whereas before it was not. On the back here, you have that black camera, which of course provides some great shots for TV broadcasting, something that the previous racer did not have. So just soak in the differences there, 121 bottom right, before it was on the left taillight. Let me know, think about it a little bit, which is your favorite Clutch A racer? I definitely prefer the new one here, and I'll explain why in just a moment, but Oh my gosh, the worm is on. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a cut. That would make sense. Because, all right, so there's the Band-Aid. Pretty similar design, you know, green on the outside, light green in the middle there with the worm. You can kind of see it. And here it is again. It must be a symbol of a cut. Like you cut yourself and then you put the Band-Aid over the cut. But, of course, it's not really covering the entire cut. I don't get it. I have no clue. I'm still struggling to figure it out. But... Maybe I'm on to something. Let me know, guys. I'm probably just being silly and overlooking something very obvious. But anyway, here's the base if you're interested. Wow, lots and lots of stuff. 
This is a record breaker, I think, for the amount of codes on the base. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that's pretty much it for Dino in comparison to Kevin Shift Right. My favorite, like I said, is Dino just because I love his new design. Love the expression. First of all, love the rims with the green trim added. And it's just so much more complex and dynamic. Whereas before, I mean, it's just navy blue with some white here and there. Now everything's a little bit more intertwined together. And I like that. Now Dino is the same model as quite a few other cars, three stock cars, like Rem Meeker, TG Castlenut, Chip Gearings, Rex Revler, and a couple more that I was too lazy to bring out. I wasn't too lazy actually, I just, I mean, there's so many now that you can't bring them all out. And it looks like Kevin has the most similar expression to Looks like Chip Gearings because, or Rex Reveler, because as you can see here, of course, TG Castle has the eyebrows like flipped, so you can take him out of the picture. And I feel like Rev just looks a little bit different just because of the way that the eyebrow here on his right side dips down. Like for Dino, it dips down all the way to his eye, which is why he looks pretty different from all these other ones because their eyebrows don't dip down that far. I know we're getting really deep here in technical, but it's what I like to do on these reviews. I think out of all these, Clutch 8 is definitely my favorite, which is a big surprise. Or I think Tank Coat's my favorite, but Clutch 8's right behind them. Because, I mean, for Cars 1, Kevin was one of my least favorite racers. And now Clutch 8 as the sponsor is actually climbing the ranks. I really like this guy. He's awesome. Dino Drafts, yeah, I don't know about the name there. But obviously, Disney and Pixar, which names all the cars, they're going for a lot of alliteration, which makes sense because it makes the cars more memorable. I mean, if you want to contest that, I don't see how you would because, I mean, look at Conrad Camber, Rev Rodages, and the list goes on and on. Sheldon Shifter, all these names. And if you don't know what alliteration is, it's having the two words start with the same letter, and it just makes it more memorable. It makes sense, but I don't know about Dino. I wish they call him something different, maybe a different D name, because I like Drafsky, that's a cool one. But maybe like Dan Drafsky. Dan Drafsky would have been actually an amazing name. Let me know if you would prefer Dan over Dino. I think it would just make a little bit more sense, because Dino, what does that even mean? Was I've never heard of someone named Dino before. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. I'm not entirely sure what it'll be on. But I certainly have quite the inventory of new 2018 cars to review. So don't worry about that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.